But David went to have a completely different navigation scheme between the two. It's possible I might want the same navigation, just looking different. In which case, I could have a navigation include, and by simply calling the pages the same thing, I could use the same include file, right? So I could have the navigation have index, page one, page two. And that would apply for the mobile and for the desktop version. It's just that on the mobile, when you're clicking the link for page one, you'll get the page one that's in the mobile folder. When you're in the desktop, you'll get the page one that's in the full folder. So don't think that the way I did this today is meant to be like, this is the USDA approved way that you need to do this. All right? I described the way that I was handling this particular thing, and I did it that way to illustrate some points, but by no means is that like an authoritative way. You, you could structure this a lot of different ways depending on a lot of factors and, and what you wanted to do. The reason I want to have a separate folder for the mobile is to bring up the whole issue of having a subdomain then for the, for the mobile that I could redirect people to. Um, and uh, all right. Questions about any of this? Now, now my my goal here is to try to eliminate as much redundancy as possible. That's why I have these include files. In practice, sometimes people are going to take shortcuts and simply do things duplicated. Is that a good thing? Theoretically, no, that's not a good thing, but, you know, again, sometimes practical concerns trump what theoretically is the, the best thing to do. Question? Uh, no, no, I think you kind of just, just, I don't know, to me this just seems like a lot of work compared to just doing your responses. Yeah, I don't know. Um, well, again, well, keep, keep in mind. This doesn't, this doesn't eliminate responsive sites. In fact, I went and took out some of those CSSs. It probably would have been a better idea to leave them in, but I was demonstrating that. When would it be better to do a responsive site? It would be better to do a responsive site when pretty much the big difference between the structures of the two, or, or between the two uh, pages, is simply the appearance. All right? So in that very first example, that we had of, of David's, where we did this and we had a little bit of change in the navigation, but essentially, in a nutshell, the big difference between the two pages was the appearance. If you had a situation where you had radically different content, that's when simply doing the client side stuff is going to um, sort of sort of fail you. I, I won't say fail you, but uh, a better way to do it will be to um, do some stuff on the server to limit the content. Again, this is all, you know, these are all techniques. You know, one doesn't supersede the other. Um, you will often do things redundantly, like you will use flexible grids and all that and responsive techniques when you do the CSS, even if you're using PHP. For those reasons I mentioned before, sometimes things misidentify themselves. Not all tablets or mobile devices are the same. Um, so it's, it's giving you a, a set of tools, and if you understand the tools and understand what each technique sort of brings to the table, then when you have a project, you can look at it and say, okay, I want to use this for this technique. So again, if, if we're going to break it down, responsive techniques would be if, if the main difference was the appearance. The server-side techniques would be if the, if the bigger differences were related to the content that we were going to send. And we didn't want to simply send a whole bunch of content over and hide a bunch of it. It would be more efficient to only send some of the content over. Other questions? I am... Not sure how much of this I want to post to Angel as far as examples. I suppose I could post all of it, or I could post maybe the PHP code and not the styles. I don't know. I'll have to give that some thought. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll give
get that some thought. Maybe I'll end up posting everything. I don't know. So uh, it might take um, it might take a little while for me to decide that and decide what to post. So it might not be available tonight. Probably will be available tomorrow though. Something. Um, I, I wouldn't think you'd mind posting all of it. Um, and that's a factor, but again, I don't know. I'll have to decide what I think is appropriate in this case. All right. Any questions? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, one last thought. I will enable your quiz later tonight. All right. You'll have until Monday class time to take it. You have like an hour to take it, which should be plenty because it's just like three or four questions. Pretty straightforward. All right. But yeah, that'll be just take pick an hour between now and, and then and, and do it. If it proves to be a real problem, let me know. Yeah, you had a question, David? Oh, uh, I was curious uh, in terms of uh, 